Sunday, the 25th of August 2024, the distinguished community of Unkore gathered at Kambeshi Palace to celebrate a tradition as old as time, the Irinji Quarry Festival. Over two days, the air was filled with anticipation, joy, and the unmistakable aroma of new yams as the Eshi of Unkore, as a CJ Okora IV, led his people in this revered cultural ritual. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Adamasa TV. Today we will talk about the Iwi Junkwari Festival 2024 in details. The festivities began with the Iwa Junkwari. On this day, Ezio Okwara IV in his royal splendor performed the age-old ritual of cutting fresh yams symbolically informing his cabinet that the new yam had arrived. This solemn act, conducted in the hallowed halls of Kambashi Palace, set the stage of what was to come, the grand celebration of the harvest. <laughs> The following day, the energy in Unkwari was electric. The Iriji festival brought together young and old as they flocked to Kambashi playground to witness Ezio Okora IV complete the sacred tradition. With a cult of the roasted yam, he signaled to his people that the new yam season had officially begun. From that moment, the entire community joined in, embracing the harvest with feasts laughter and joyous celebration. But no Iriji festival is complete without the trail of traditional wrestling, a spot that runs deep in the vents of the Igbo people. For generations, wrestling has been a symbol of strength, courage, and community spirit. During the Iriji festival, the wrestling matches are more than just a competition. They are a celebration of life itself. As the young warriors grappled in a sand arena, their bodies locked in a dance of skill and power. The crowd roared with excitement. In this moment, the Igbos find pure joy, not just in the victory, but in the challenge, the camaraderie, and the connection to their ancestral roots. Each match is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Igbo people, a blend of tradition and resilience that has withstood the test of time. Oh, 
The Uwinji Query Festival was not just about the yams, it was about Thanksgiving. The people of Nkuri came together at the First African Church in Mweke for a heartfelt service, expressing gratitude for the bountiful harvest and the unity that the festival fostered. <laughs> Irijun Kore was a powerful reminder of the deep roots that bind the people of Nkore together, celebrating not just the harvest, but the rich traditions that continue to thrive in our modern world. This unforgettable celebration was brought to you by Adamaza TV. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the heart of Igbo culture, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share this video to spread the joy of our traditions and connect with us on social media at Adamaza TV. If you have a cultural heritage to showcase, we're here to bring it to the world. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.